Have you ever wondered how to get maximum amount of gold in Marvel Feature 5? Well, don't worry, because I got you covered, guys. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to get the maximum amount of gold in Marvel Feature 5. So make sure you stay till the end of the video, alright? So stay tuned. Hey guys, so here we are in the game. So before we start, I would like to talk about two things in this game which can help you in getting more goals in this game. So the first one, I want to talk about the boost points. So these boost points you can get for free after the maintenance ends. So make sure you claim these boost points at the right time and the right moment, alright? So let's just claim that and press ok so why i said boost points is very important is because as you can see my stage 2 boost point is activated and you can see all the effects for the boost points in stage 2 but i want to focus on the goal acquisition increase to 50 percent guys so this is play a major role for your goal acquisition all right so the second thing i want to talk about is the premium gold booster which can be found in the store or shop go to consumable shop close that and then scroll to the right and there it is premium gold booster get 100% gold increase 100% gold increase for three days and the price is 365 crystals guys so in my opinion to me is it's it's worth it you know you can get a huge amount of gold by purchasing this premium gold booster so to me if you ask me whether it's worth it you should buy it guys it is worth it but on today's video, I won't buy the premium gold booster because I want to save some crystals for the next uniform discount or sale. So after you already claim your boost points or buy your premium gold booster, the first thing that you should do is to play the daily missions, guys. Don't play the ISO 8 or M-Crunch shots, play the gold and UXP chip. Uh, again, make sure you claim the boost points at the right time and the right moment, which is before you play the daily missions. Okay, or else you're gonna waste a lot of gold and when you play it without the boost points. Okay, let me let this okay, let me just show you guys. Let me just play this one round. Okay, just to show you guys how significant it is when using the boost points. Again, a friendly reminder, this is without the premium gold booster. Alright, so after the mission success, I want to show you guys how much gold did I get. Usually without the boost points, I usually get around 200,000. Oh my god, it's 346,000. Can you guys imagine this with the premium gold booster? You can get around 500,000 plus. You know, you can get more when you use the premium gold booster. That's just, okay, I'll show you one more round. I'm just going to clear ticket this one. And I get 359, 359,000 guys. Oh my god. That's a lot guys, that's a lot. But the next thing that you should play is the epic quest, not special mission, okay? Epic quest, go to the epic quest, play all the stages, just like the memory mission for Doctor Strange. And then you go to the X-Men, you go play the Veil Secret and Mutual Enemy if you unlock it. And for the X-Force, Deadpool, play the stupid X-Men and Big Twin. And for the Fantastic Four, like Brothers, New Faces and Twisted World and Doomsday, if you have it. So you need to play all these stages in Epic Quest, just play it because honestly speaking, it gives you more gold than a special mission. So now you can go to the special mission, you can play it 20 times for more gold, okay, not 10 times, just play it all, just drain your that energy, okay, it's still one of the best places to get gold. Alright guys, so that's it for the mission, let's move on to the challenge. Of course, you need to play the Villain Siege, guys. It is a daily reset. You should play it daily. Play all three, guys. Easy, normal, hard. You should play all three. Don't waste your gold. Play hard, you can get 110,000 gold. Play normal, you can get 80,000 gold. And for easy, you can get 50,000 gold. That is 240,000 gold in total, guys. That's a lot. That's a huge amount of gold. You cannot waste it. Just play all three. There's no harm. Next is the Shadowland, but of course, Shadowland has a weekly reset, so you only can get that amount of gold per week. For example, myself, I could get around 2 to 3 million or millions of gold, so again, only per week, not per day. 
So let's talk about, oh yeah, another one, you can get some huge amount of gold in Legendary Battle. So let's just jump into it. So we have Spider-Man Far From Home, Avengers Endgame, the Marvel, and Man of the Wars, and many of us. But I was just going to show you guys Spider-Man Far From Home first. So let's take it the first chapter. Click on the bonus reward, and you can see that you can get 700,000 of gold by just having an own rare Mysterio uniform for Far From Home. Just like that, 700,000. Can you guys imagine? Let's jump to the next chapter, bonus reward. Oh my god, you can get another 700,000 just by having a rare Spider-Man step suit. Okay, so you can get a lot of money from the legendary battles. Again, go for all these chapters, all these movies. As you can see, Ant-Man and the Wasps, so many gold you can get just by having a wasp. And then Black Panther, you can get amount, a huge amount of gold by having all the ranks for Ulysses Claw. Rank up Ulysses Claw, okay guys? Right, so that's all for legendary battle. Right, so now let's move on to the arena. Alright, I want to talk about the Tamilan battle, which is actually very important, which many people don't play it 10 times per day. This is very important because you can get a huge amount of gold from this one. Alright, so right now in the Platinum League, if you press the list, see the rewards, scroll down, as you can see, I can get 1,200,000 of gold just by playing it 70 times. For Gold League, you can get 100 million. For Silver, you can get 900,000. For bronze, you can get 800,000 of gold. That's huge, guy. Just playing it for 70 times, which means you have to play Tamla Battle for 10 times every day for 7 days straight. In other words, for the whole week without miss. You cannot miss not even one. Alright, so you have to be very dedicated and you have to have that determination to play this Tamla Battle 10 times every day. Now let's jump into the alliance battle. This is where it get very interesting. You can get around 400 to 500,000 of gold just by playing both normal mode and extreme mode. Okay, of course, they have this criteria which you need to follow. For example, today is hero combat. And you can just press scale duel to know what are the incoming criteria you need to follow so you can strategize more. Now let's talk about the alliance conquest. Alright, this is another um, weekly reset basis. So if your alliance managed to win or become the champion for Alliance Conquest, you can get 2,500,000 of gold. That's huge amount of gold, guys. Of course, you get second place and third place, you still get golds, but not that much. I can't really remember, but you still get gold. And um, So make sure you choose the right alliance for this one. Because you want to make sure you win every week. Alright guys, let's proceed with the co-op. Let's go to the co-op play first. You can get a good amount of gold from here guys. But of course, if you have VIP level 1, which can be clearly seen here, I am VIP level 1 right now, where it will open another slot for the reward. And also you can get another bonus if you have more heroes that can do the co-op play. Alright, so next let's talk about the World Boss Invasion. You can get some gold from here too. Depends on your luck to get a good type of supply chest. You, know, you can get um, basic supply chest, advanced supply chest, legendary supply chest. So it depends on your luck. So, of course, one thing I don't like about World Boss Invasion is it consumes a lot of energy. I think it consumes around, I don't know, 10 energy maybe? Let me just check. Oh yeah, it consumes 10 energy. That's quite a lot if you play 10 three times. Now let's talk about the world event. Now some of you have been thinking, why is it important about world event? Well, to me it is important to increase your agent level, guys, which can be found right here. So the rewards that you get from the world event can be used to increase your agent level. Oh man, I used up all the agent chests. Never mind. But there will be agent chests which can be used. I'm just gonna put some ISO 8 here. Yeah, just kidding. I won't use my ISO 8. Don't please don't use your ISO 8, okay? Use your agent chest. So let's go to the bonus. Okay, so if we take a look at the agent bonuses here, it has all attack, all defense, maximum HP, increases goal acquisition, increase character EXP, and increase item acquisition. But of course, you need to focus on invest your agent points on increased goal acquisition, right? 
By doing this, you can get more gold when you're playing the daily missions, special missions, and epic quest missions. You can get double the gold or triple the gold, right? So, okay, maybe some of you made a mistake. Most beginners do is upgrade all the bonuses. But don't worry, you can reset the age of bonus. Just play the reset there, and you can pay 500,000 gold so that you can get all the agent points back and you can do it, you can redo it and invest on increases goal acquisition. Okay, so that's all for the world event. All right, guys, so another thing I want to talk about is the battle world. You can also get some some gold here, some decent amount of gold by playing this 10 times. I get around 100k of gold from playing battle world 10 times. It doesn't matter whether I would win or lose, it doesn't matter. I just want the gold anyways, right? So, okay, I think that's all. Hey guys, so here is the summary for your daily farming. So let's say to every day you play daily mission for 2 times, you get 520k. For special mission, you play 20 times, you get 230k. Again, this is all approximation numbers, it's not exact, but it's a range, okay? Range of numbers. Next, you play a peak quest, you get around 200k, and then you play alliance battle for 2 times, which means you play normal and extreme mode, you will get around 500k. For co-op, for VIP level 1, of course, you will get 1, 1 million in total for 5 rewards. Okay, next is the villain siege, you will get 240k in total for easy, normal, and hard. So, in total daily farming, you can get around 2,690,000 guys. That's a huge amount of gold for daily basis. Okay, next is your summary for your weekly gold rewards. You will get it from the timeline battle, you will get 1.2 million, but again, this depends on which league you are in. For example, I myself, I'm in the Platinum League, so I take myself as an example. Next, second, you can get it from Alliance Conquest, and of course, if you win, your Alliance get the first place, you will get 2.5 million. And for Shadowland, if you manage to achieve to floor 15, you will get around 2 million. So in total, for your summoning weekly goal acquisition, you will get around 5.7 million. Again, this is excluding daily farming, guys. Your daily farming which has been shown previously. So what is your grand total per week that you can get? So let's do some calculations. 2690,000 2 times 7 days for 1 week, right? That is your daily farming, by the way, plus 5.7 million, which you get every week. So the grand total for your goal is 24,390,000, guys. That is a huge amount of gold that you can get per week. Again, this is per week, guys. 24 million, that's a lot. So to me, it's not bad. But again, this is without using the premium gold booster. If you use premium gold booster, I'm pretty sure it's got you going go. You're gonna get more. You're gonna get higher. I think you can get around 30 million. Yeah, 30, 30 million. Yeah, I think you can get around there if you're using the premium gold booster every day. Hey guys, so I hope you found this video very helpful for all of you, and really wish you guys can get more goals after this. So if you think this video is very helpful for you guys, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys soon. This is Sonic Webs. Peace out.